हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज योर नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट इंजन ड्राइव इन टुडे टॉपिक आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू वेरियस टाइप ऑफ इंजन ड्राइव आफ्टर दैट वील सी द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ चेन ड्राइव एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ द चेन ड्राइव सो दिस इज द न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ द इंजन ड्राइव before beginning the video i want to tell you i have made a complete series of a camshaft and in the i button above which you can see right now there the place section of camshaft is been uh, kept there please go and have a watch i hope you will like it now let's begin the video of the engine drive so basically the engine drive can be classified into two type chain drive and gear drive okay the first question come to mind why do we need drive why the requirement of a drive is there so in order to operate the fuel pump and a valve at correct timing it is necessary that smooth rotation movement is conveyed to camshaft means the camshaft is the main thing which require the rotation and that rotation is need to be conveyed from crankshaft to camshaft this can be done by in two stroke crosshead engine by two method one is the chain drive and one is the gear drive basically the chain drive arrangement is preferred by man bmw manufacturer and gear drive arrangement is preferred by soldier engine in four stroke also different manufacturer prefer different method but mostly most of them employ gear drive now different engine manufacturer prefer different method as both of its method have its pros and con in some medium four stroke engine engine gear drive is mainly preferred but in some case manufacturer also prefer chain drive so here you can see this is the camshaft and this is the camshaft the intermediate gear wheel is providing the rotation to the camshaft through this now in gear in chain drive the crankshaft and camshaft movement is conveyed through a chain which is been attached wrapped around the camshaft and crankshaft and through a sprocket it is engaging and rotating the camshaft and as it is rotating it is rotating the crank camshaft also now let's see what are the advantages of the chain drive gear drive i will cover later first today i will talk about advantages of chain drive chain drive provide the flexibility to put the camshaft high on the engine means what do i mean by camshaft high on the engine is that the camshaft drive can be placed more closer to the engine but in gear drive the camshaft cannot be placed more closer to the engine if we need to put more closer to the engine in that case we have to add more gear okay as in gear drive the position of camshaft is dictated by the number and position of gear wheel okay overall weight of a chain drive is lighter than gear drive means the weight of the gear is of course more than the chain and hence the cost and the movement motion transmission will also be affected amount of friction loss in chain is small okay and as the width of the chain drive is narrower hence add of length to the engine is less as compared to gear drive means what i mean to say is that the width of the chain means the chain width the width of the chain is less therefore the addition of the length is less in chain drive compared to the gear drive means gear drive is basically thick in nature and hence there will be larger section addition at the end compared to the chain drive same thing i've written here chain drive can incorporate wheel driving movement compensator and subsidiary drive such as engine lubricator and governor 
so what i mean to say as you can see in this diagram the chain drive is incorporating the moment compensator and base various subsidiary device such as engine lubricator governor etc which can be incorporated in chain drive but cannot be incorporated in gear drive now one more thing i want to tell you that in the first point by placing the high the camshaft drive we are ensuring that the hydraulic loss means the hydraulic timing loss is prevented what do i mean by hydraulic timing loss is that if the camshaft drive is placed lower in that case the time which for which the camshaft exhaust valve actuation or fuel pump pressurizing time will be more as the time taken by the oil to convey towards the exhaust hydraulic piston or fuel pump will be more compared to the if the drive is placed higher i hope you understand that now let's see what is the disadvantage of the camshaft camshaft timing can be affected due to the wear of the chain drive means the drive is subjected to wear and there is a limit if the limit is 1% of the overall length in that case we have to change the chain drive but the wear of the gear is comparatively less as compared to the chain drive as the chain drive is subjected to the cyclic stress hence it need to be changed after 15 years though it has not reached elongation limit so there are two thing one thing is that if the overall elongation of the chain if the overall elongation of the chain is more than 1% okay in that case we have to change it and suppose the chain condition is good means the elongation is not above 1% of overall length but the chain is subjected to also cyclic stress and hence cyclic stress failure also occur so after a period of 15 year we need to change the chain drive irrespective of its condition as in the case of a convert bolt of a four stroke engine it need to be changed after a specific running period of time same thing with the chain drive because both are subjected to cyclic stress chain drive need to be properly tightened if not properly done can cause excessive wear and vibration that is the important point means we need to tighten the chain drive by the the tightening nut and the adjustment nut which is provided here as you can see here this this adjustment need to be carried properly otherwise severe vibration will occur so i hope you understand what i mean to say please do like and subscribe my video please share image credit goes to mahindrizal.co.uk and uh, please go and watch uh, about uh, camshaft i will give it in the end screen and if you want me to make any topic please comment below thank you friend